Hello there guys, today we will be covering how to play Rosalina in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Part 2. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, please check my uh, Part 1, where is the Rosalina and Luma introduction, uh, ground, air neutrals, and smash attacks. And um, on this video, we will be covering all the special moves, the grabs, and uh, the lunar landings, along with the preview for Part 3. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here, uh, we are using the neutral, I guess, special move, where Rosalina shoots Luma, uh, it deals great damage, and you can also charge it for a longer period, but it does eventually uh, release by itself. What you're seeing here is uh, Star Bits, this uh, side B, and you can use this to interrupt characters from doing great damage or setting up tricks or combos, whatever the case might be. Uh, but you gotta be careful on who you're using it because not the Sarvages do not go destroy everything or stop everything. Here, uh, Villager using the up B. If you pop the balloons without touching the character, you can affect their uh, momentum. Here you can see, you know, Lucario and using the, I guess, uh, the beam attack along with Mega Man. And Rosalina is absorbing everything. Luma does get hit, so you have to keep that in mind. We're also going to be uh, covering on the gravitational pull pretty much how the items work. So whatever item is around, if Rosalina uses the gra gra gravitational pull, it automatically pulls all of them that's close by her, and then it puts one on her hand for her to use. So right here. Uh, this I would highly recommend it using it when you're playing multiplayers. And you can use this to your advantage if, uh, if you're playing by yourself or on teams, you gotta be careful though. Here we're watching the slow motion. Of how the gravitational pull works. Got the bullet. <laughs> Looks amazing. And then Rosalina flies back. Alright, the other thing we're going to cover is the up B of Rosalina, which is uh, a really good high jump, however it's diagonal, so you have to, it will take time for you to master the jump in order to, you know, if you're right below the, the ledge, obviously you don't want to jump diagonally, you want to jump vertically, and to do that I recommend you, you know, practice and changing it to, you know, lowering the, I guess, the speed, so that way you can practice. Pretty much here, I am doing this right at the line of the, the, the map or the graph, I guess. Pretty much what you do is you jump, and then right when Rosalina is jumping, you pull back the stick to the back of Rosalina. So as you can see here, if I keep doing it over and over and faster and faster, Rosalina can actually, instead of going straight, she can go backwards. Uh, you can see it right here, watch. So she jumps straight, but then she pulls way back. And she doesn't necessarily go straight up, she goes sideways. Sort of like tilted. So, when you're here, you want to be able to do that. And most people, when they do that, <laughs> they end up dying. Especially if you're playing like on Wi-Fi, or if your finger slips, you can die really quick. Um, I suggest practicing on a stage like this one, or any stage that has a flat surface. Uh, a flat surface. Obviously, all, all of them have flat surface. A wall, that's what I'm going to say. Because you can use the wall to help you do a straight uh, up B. And one thing to remember is that Whatever way Rosalina, you have to pay attention to what way Rosalina is looking at because it's not going to work if you automatically just do one input and Rosalina is looking the other way. So this one right here, when you get knocked out, whatever the case is, you're not facing the ledge, so you got to practice how to jump. And you, ha you will have to use the stage in order to recover as well. Uh, as you can see, this one is like Battlefield, so you want to make sure that you hit lower and then you slide up. 
Alright, the other thing is jumping with Rosalina. I love, and this goes with all the characters, you know, people panic and they press all the jumps right at the same time. But if you take your time in using your jumps, see like you jump right there. And then you do your second jump. Uh, obviously some characters have better jumps than others. This is pretty much what people do right away. They jump, 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 and up B and die. But if you kind of swim in the air, if it makes sense, you can, you know, use it to your best advantage and not get spiked by another character, or, you know, you can make it back. See, like right here, you get hit again. We are swimming in the air. Falling down, and then right when Rosalina is facing the opposite way, we can safely do up B back. Uh, right here, we are doing a grab, so that's the neutral damage that she does when she grabs you. This is the up B, and obviously, at some high percentages, and depending on the weight of a character, you can kill right away, which is amazing. Uh, grab forward. You can do some sort of combos, but it really depends on the character's weight and the percentage that they're at and their rage, if you have any rage with other cases. The back throw is the same way. Uh, the one that you want to use is up throw or down throw. Obviously, you can see a lot more damage taking place here with down throw. Now, right here, uh, the grabs. This is pretty much where Luma hits first and then Rosalina grabs. So whether the, let's say the opponent is blocking, if you attack, obviously it won't, it won't hurt the opponent, but if Luma hits, it would break the shield in a way, and then you would be able to grab. So if you time this correctly, you will always uh, be able to grab them, do damage, and then go from there, do setups. And the way you do this, you press Neutral A, and then grab immediately right after. Practice this on slow motion, and you should be able to uh, accomplish this. Now this right here is the same thing as grabbing by Luma hitting and Rosalina grabbing, but you're doing this when the opponent is on the floor. You have to make sure that the uh, opponent uh, can be grabbed. And what you can do in the training, you can change the opponent to show uh, the invincibility. So that way you know like how long you have, when you can time it, and so on. So see like right here, the opponent is freely to be attacked until it lands on the floor and like for I think like a second or so, then it, it uh, lights up a blue thing on the body saying that they can be touched, damaged, or anything like that. Uh, right here we have the lunar landing. So obviously when Rosalina is landing, if you press it right when she lands on the floor, it, Luma will hit. But if you press it right before Rosalina touches the ground, it will cause Rosalina to stop, but it would uh, allow Luma to hit back and forward, just how Rosalina does the neutral A in the air. So that's her normal one. Uh, she lands, has lag, and then Luma hits. But if you do it right before she lands, Rosalina lands, and then Luma spins, hitting uh, forward and back. So with this, like if you're jumping in front of a character, the character will be like, oh, he can't attack. But then surprise, Luma hits him. Uh, you can do this, uh, the neutral Luna landing from the uh, forward behind and then do a follow-up. And you can also do the, the, the forward Luna landing, which is literally the same thing. And you can also do the backward, the backwards. And when you do this, this can lead to follow-ups as grabs or just extra damage that you can do. So this is really good. And like I mentioned, in order for you to do this, you just have to wait... I would say maybe about like three squares if you're looking at this, about three squares right before you land and two, so like three squares right there and then uh, it's going to be fast obviously. 
but when you do that, Luma is able to hit and Rosalina can land safely. So that's the back lunar landing, which you can use that to, well the forward and the back, depending on where you stand, you can use that to knock off characters that are trying to get back on the ledge, especially those that have uh, not so good up, up beast jumps. Right, because of recover jumps. Now, if you do it too soon, you can see obviously Rosalina's landing on the ground. So you gotta make sure you wait. But in here, we did a lunar landing, I think it was for her back. And then Rosalina was able to grab the character and then do a setup. Um, this will be a preview for part three. Please take a look, follow me on Instagram, like, comment, subscribe. So this right here, um, I don't really know what the name is, but it's pretty much Rosalina's spinning Luma, but being able to move freely. So you have to get disjointed, so meaning that Rosalina has to be, I guess, not controllable, and then using neutral A rapidly, so that Luma stays spinning in the spot and then Rosalina can move freely. So as you can see here, obviously, you know, Luma's spinning. Rosalina's able to walk, uh, you, you can grab. And then depending on your setup on your controller, you can do the uh, smash attacks. Which is really nice. And it does a lot of damage. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it uh, locks up the opponent, and you know, the opponent cannot, you know, do things without time passing by. So yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much this. This is just one part of the preview for part three that will be coming up soon. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, follow me on Instagram, let me know uh, what feedback, what tricks you have found with Rosalina, as uh, she hasn't been played that much, but she does have potential, it's just a matter of time before they're able to find tricks. Thank you so much.